Gentlemen, I gather y'all here to bestow my immense abundance of knowledge regarding 12 lead ECG. I'd also like to take this time to apologize to one of our blackest, I mean, finest members. Reggie, I am sorry I introduced you as Troy at the Christmas party. It's okay, Larry. Just call me the other one. And to our only member, capable of pumping. Perfect pressure, as they say. All hail, Jimmy the Great. Thank you, Larry. I would like to take this time to send a shout out to my favorite chief, fellow Lantanian and life partner. Micro. Without his intense fertilization, my ego could only grow so big. Boys, I feel we have digressed from the point. That point, of course, is for me to cram in little tidbits of useless information that is way over everyone's head. And I need not mention that I read it this morning in a book. Oh, and let's not forget to liberally sprinkle in some five dollar words. Five dollar. Hell yeah. Now back to the twelve lead. We didn't have these fancy things when I started riding the box 27 years ago. If some old man sat up in his chair pale and sweaty and said, Elizabeth I'm coming, we would just throw his ass in the box and give them a diesel bolus. And of course we would then call a report on the mounted rotary phone and the ambulance. Hell, when I started riding the box 35 years ago we didn't ever even have a stethoscope. We put our barrier directly on the patient's chest. I ain't shitting you. And if heard wet breath sounds we threw their ass in the 34-4. Hurst. With suicide doors. And hall balls. And then call and report with a wind-up field radio. And I can't tell you how many times I have it to jump out of the box cause it stopped. With the field radio on my back might I add. And chase off free-range cattle. That was on the road. Cause there weren't no fences back then. I remember three score and eight years ago, on my shift on the box, we was too long down Main Street in the medic wagon, when we seen a woman go down, short of breath, so we eased the wagon over to her, and boys she was circling the drain, so we loaded her up real fast like, and I fashioned a layering gas coat, from the wheel down the willow branch, and used the reflection of the sun, off the crystal of my pocket watch, turn to bait her with a 9.0 bamboo twig. Then I turned to my partner and said, Chris slapped the reins to them horses and light the lantern. We got a code 3 transport to make. Then I had him wet the blankets so we could call and report. Via smoke signal, we saved their life cause we was free thinkers. And smarter than your average bear. Larry, why would we ever want to do a V4R? You listen to me, you little perfect pressure prick. You will do it. Cause I say you will do it. When you have rode the box for 103 years like me, you can make the rules. Hey, y'all wanna see my impression of cotton? <laughs>